guys, what's up? I'm Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a really cool looking particle stimulation in After Effects using Trap Court Particular. So it's gonna be a pretty fun tutorial and really, really amazing one. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. So let's start by creating a new composition. Let's rename this to main as this is going to be our main comp. 1920 into 1080, 30 frames, 10 seconds looks good and hit OK. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create a new solid by hitting Ctrl Y on the keyboard. And let's rename this to circle. Hit OK. Select the ellipse tool and hold Ctrl and Shift while dragging to create a perfect circle like so. Maybe something this big. And Let's go into the mask, mask path, select it up and hit Ctrl C to copy the mask path. Then we can hide this layer and create a new solid. So hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid again and let's rename this to particles cause this is going to be our particles layer. Hit OK and let's add trap code particular to this. There we go. So now we basically have some particles generating. Also we can create a new camera. 28 millimeters looks good and you can see if I select the camera we have some really nice 3D particles. So let's go into the particles. Let's go into the emitter and where it says position I'm going to hold alt and click on the stopwatch of the position. Okay. Select the position and hit control V to paste the path of the mask that we copied. So now we have something like that. So the particles are going to emit in a circular direction because the mask was circle. You can create any shape that you want, but as you can see, the emission of the particles or the animation stops right over here. And I want this particle emission to keep on, you know, looping up. So to do that, I'm going to select right over here and click right over here. And let's type in an expression called loop out. Open and close parentheses. So now it's going to keep on looping continuously as long as our timeline is so it's 10 seconds long so it's going to keep on looping for 10 seconds just like that now we can basically delete this if you want to you know we didn't really need it now let's go ahead into the particle section and I'm going to set the feather to zero and also bring down the size to zero then I'm going to go into the aux system set this to continuous and now we have this really cool looking particles so let's go into the emitter and let's maybe set the particles per second to 300. So we have more particles into the emission as you can see. Let's go into the aux system and I'm going to increase the life per second to around 2. And let's go and increase the particles per second to around 300. So we have something like this. Pretty sweet. Also, let's go back into the emitter and I'm going to set the velocity to around, let's go with 5 and bring down the velocity randomness and the velocity distribution. And for the velocity from motion, I can play around with this according to our requirements. I'm going to just leave it for 20 for now. So now we have something like this, as you can see. Let's go back into the aux system and let's bring down the feather to 0 and bring down the size to, let's go with 2. This is looking pretty good. Now let's go into the size over life and we can select any preset that we want. So I'm going to select maybe this one. Let's see. Yep, this looks actually pretty good. Pretty nice. Or maybe I'll go with maybe this one. Yeah, this looks much better. As you can see. Then we can also go into the opacity over life and I'm going to select this preset. I get something like that. And for the color, I'm going to go into the set color option and set this to over life. So we have this really nice looking colors. Then I can go into the color over life and we can select a preset. So maybe I'll go with this one. Bring this a bit closer, something like this. Let's set this to something like a really nice yellow color. And for the black, I'm going to go with a really nice orange color. You can of course select any of your favorite colors that you want. So that's done with this. And you can see already it is looking really, really nice. Now what I can do is go into the physics section, 
go to air tab and go into the turbulence field and increase the effect position to create some really cool effect as you can see i'm going to set this to around 100 you can also play around with the scale so if i want to i can increase this you know to create a really dramatic effect which looks pretty organic i'm going to set this to 8 for now make it look really nice see this is looking actually pretty cool and also i'm going to go into the aux system and we can also increase the life per second to maybe let's go with three yep that is looking much better and don't forget that this is 3d so i can go into the camera and switch the position so it's going to create some really nice angle maybe something like that pretty cool we can select the camera hit aa two times we can turn on the depth of field also i'm going to increase the zoom to maybe 1500 and increase the aperture to 200 and the blur level to 200 as well create this really nice effect as you can see it gives a really nice depth to our scene i can increase the focal distance focus distance to 1200 maybe something like that looks pretty interesting see really nice also maybe i'll increase the life second to maybe 3.5 i guess let's see oh, this is looking pretty cool maybe i'll go with three and let's go into the emitter i can also increase the particles if i want to but i'm going to decrease them to around 250 let's see how it looks yep this is looking much better and this is actually looking pretty nice already i can also add some glow to this so let's add a glow and increase the threshold a bit just like somewhere around there and increase the glow radius to give it a nice looking glow pretty nice as you can see and it is really simple and easy to create you can also go back into the velocity maybe into aux system actually or maybe let's go into the emitter actually and increase the velocity if i want to so it's going to create a different looking animation right off the bat and you can see this looks really really cool so creating some really cool animation is pretty simple using this kind of technique and you know you can create some really cool looking camera angles which will help you to get some really nice effect to it you can also go into the particles and let's set the size to around maybe two or something like that you know to add some particles to the complete scene we can also change select maybe this color or something like that so we have some little particles flowing up looks pretty cool as you can see pretty damn cool also i'm going to set the size over life and select this preset and let's see what more we can do we can also add optical flares to this so hit Control y to create a new solid and let's rename this to op for optical flares and let's set this to screen add optical flares to this go into options and clear all we just need the glow and let's set this into 3d space i'm gonna place it somewhere around let's go somewhere around there and i'm going to select a really nice orange color for this something like that looks pretty good to me and you can see it's looking really nice yep and also add a pretty quick adjustment layer so let's rename this to cc for color correction and i'm going to add a curves adjustment just to pump up the colors a bit make it look really nice
You can also play around with the blue if I increase this. Nothing is happening. Oh, pretty cool effect though, you can see. My gosh. Anyway, so you can see this is looking pretty nice. Really cool effect. And I discovered this effect, you know, I was just having some fun. I was just practicing and I came up with this really cool effect or thing you can see or particle stimulation, whatever you can call it. And I thought it was worth sharing with you guys. And if you really enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to, you know, subscribe the channel. Comment down below if you really enjoyed saying I enjoyed and I will reply to each and every comment. So, yeah, that is all for today, guys. So that is a wrap for today. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. And if it was, make sure to subscribe, comment and like. And I will see you guys in my next video. Till then, take care. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.